John's father died without a wall 20 years ago. His father left him and his two brothers a two-story terrace house. They didn't claim the house immediately after their father left. The house was deserted and neglected. Many years later, while John was planning to claim the house, his eldest brother passed on unexpectedly of a seizure, leaving behind three sons. As a result, John's three nephews became the legal heirs to the house. This incident complicated the estate administration process. Initially, there were only three beneficiaries, John, his eldest brother, and his second brother. However, there are now three additional nephews. To manage his father's estate, John must have all of the beneficiaries sign a renunciation letter appointing him as administrator. With three nephews working in different places, it took John a long time to get the signatures of all the beneficiaries. Furthermore, each beneficiary has different opinions and views. Some of them desired to sell, while others desired to use it as a vacation home. The above-mentioned situation would not have occurred, if John's father had made a will during his lifetime, naming a specific beneficiary for the house. If a parent owns multiple properties, each can be designated to a different child. To avoid making children feel unfairly treated, less valuable properties can be combined with other assets. If a parent only owns one property, and wishes to divide it equally among their children, they can instruct the executor to sell the property, and divide the proceeds equally among the children. Have you planned for your estate? Feel free to contact us at 012-228-1959.